Two legal questions arise from day 10 of the impeachment trial of Chief Justice Renato Corona involving a company and a condo unit. Question number one. Was the family corporation of Mrs. Cristina Corona dead after its franchise was revoked in 2003? SEC Director Benito Cataran testifies that franchise was revoked because the company failed to file records and financial reports. Now, 2003 was the same year Chief Justice Renato Corona took an 11 million peso loan to pay for a property in La Vista subdivision in Quezon City. The prosecution calls this a fictitious loan, saying the company was already dead and raising questions on the accuracy of Corona Salen where he declared this cash advance. But the defense says it was still operational pending the deadline for an appeal. The Senate asked for a legal memorandum to settle this issue. Ito po ba'y patay na? Kasi pwedeng i-resuscitate eh. Uh, Deadline to file petition to leave revocation 2010. So, pwede pong ma-revive ito? Yes, Your Honor. So, active po yung corporation. Pwede maging uh, active. Buhay pa po. Pwede nakaswero, pero buhay. Question number two. When should Corona have declared his condo unit at the columns in Makati? Ayala Lance Narisa Yosef testifies a deed of sale was executed in 2004, but the condo unit was only deemed accepted in 2008. Corona declared his property in his 2010 salen. The prosecution says that should have been done much earlier in 2004 after the deed of sale. But for the defense, it should have been done after it was accepted because of what it calls for defects in the property, specifically the roof, the windows, and the wiring. The Senate again asked for a legal memorandum to answer this question. Well, the problem was it wasn't the, the, the Columns condominium was not declared. Number one, it wasn't declared till 2010. Uh, and that was filed in April of 2011 when uh, Ombudsman Gutierrez was already being impeached. So we're, we're wondering why, why, it, why it wasn't declared in 2009, why it wasn't declared in 2008, 7, 6, 5, 4, working backwards, no? if, it, if the transfer of ownership really occurred in 2004. That, that is not true, that, there, that is inaccurate, there is under-declaration, and so on and so forth. It's too premature at this point in time. Why? They are not done with the presentation of the witness, primarily, of course, because they have the burden of showing that there was indeed uh, uh, gross inaccuracies uh, on the basis of the uh, sal and vis-a-vis -vis all these documents that they have presented in, uh, regarding the properties. In the coming days, senators will answer these questions as the prosecution wraps up Article 2. On day 11, the prosecution will call a witness from Phil Invest, Palms Country Club, and Registrars of Deeds. I.E. Makaraig, Rappler.